was just a shock, that's all. Surely you didn't expect him to have you back there and then? No, but he had me parceled up and shut away in all them suitcases. Hey, what are you doing lifting them on your own? Let me do it. It's all right. You can't blame Ashley for being angry. No, I know. I've only got myself to blame for that. You've got to look after yourself now. Did you get any sleep last night? The baby was kicking that much. It's exciting, though, isn't it? I had you down for a football, you kicked that hard. Oh, I feel like the whole world wants to give me a good kick in. And it's all my own fault. That's tiredness. Why don't you take that holiday we were talking about? I can't go now. Well, if you're worried about the cost, I'll pay. See? Even you're trying to get shot of me. Oh, Bernice. You can't do it, Letitia, as a thug. A piece of trash, someone who gets kicks out of beating up women. Shut your face. Well, if he can hit you, he can hit Kirk and all. Have you thought of that? Mum, will you tell her? What we're going to do if he smashes her face and go around with an aspirin? It's her life, Danny. Kane, what are you doing? Well, there's no coffee. That's because we run out. Zach, can you do a bit of shopping for me this morning? Let him get his own coffee. I'm busy. Eh, yeah, what with? Hmm? Well, nothing. I've just got things to do, that's all. So what are you up to, Dad? Mind your own business. Well, just don't you forget I've got to go to work at Polar's this evening after tea. Well, can't he give you time off factory to do that? Oh, you know what he's like. Anyway, we need the extra cash. <laughs> Bye, darling. See you later. See ya. <sighs> So, what are you going to do? Nothing. But sit easy, Belt. You're going to get your chip player group. You coming straight back here, then? What is the matter with you? Eh? Can't you understand plain English? Yeah, I'm only asking. Well, it's got nothing to do with you, all right? Haven't you got something to do for college? What's the point, Dad? Just trying to help. <laughs> Don't. Rodney? Ah, uh, Scott, can you do something for me up at the Holiday Village? Yeah. The inventory's just come through from the solicitors. I'd like you to go up there and check it through for me. Fine. I've got nothing on the garage this afternoon, so... Scott, uh, can you do me a favour? What kind of... Uh... Take Nicola with you. She needs something to occupy her. I won't be able to come and help no more, Mr Turner, after today. Is there something wrong? No, nothing. I'm moving back to Bradford. Really? Me and Paul are getting back together. I don't want to interfere, Letitia, but is this wise? He is Kirk's dad. But I'd hate to think of you getting harmed in any way. I want to give it another chance. Does, um, Jason know you're going? What's it got to do with you? What did I say? How is he today? Oh, you know, it's great for him to have visitors. Seems to recharge his batteries. Oh. Hey, up, lads. I've come to make a nuisance of myself. Hide the silver, Jenny. We've got a right one here. <laughs> yeah, well, you're bearing up, I see. Me? Of course I am. It's you we're worried about. No, I'm all right. You didn't sound like that on the phone. You don't have to put a brave face on for us, Zach. You know that. Yeah. Now are things with Lisa? Well, I've, uh, I've, I've tried to talk to her, like you said, but... I don't know, it, it's difficult to say how you feel with uh, someone unless they've well, been there themselves. Aye. I know what you mean, but you've got to try. Hey, pet? 
I'll leave you lads together, eh? You got a good one there. Your journey. What is it, Zach? What's on your mind? Are you sure you don't want us to give you a lift to the airport? You're supposed to be working. I don't care. I'm going to miss you, Cathy. I thought we were just having fun, you and me. We are. We are, but I don't want it to end. I am coming back, you know. It is still lovely, sir. My feelings haven't changed. Spirit is willing, eh? I never thought about my body. It was just me, if you know what I mean. Aye. A natural thing, like, like breathing or anything else. It's not decent to dwell on all that. But your body can let you down. Letting me down is exactly what it does. It's probably because I'm thinking about it too much, eh? I mean, I, I trust Lisa. She, she'd never mock her, uh, say out deliberate. I just dread that look on her face. That's what it is. When I first found out I got cancer, I thought, I'm going to die. Well, I... And that one thought put everything else in the shade. I'd have done anything for one more day with Jenny and care what sort of day it was. Though I'd rather not have the pain. I've no right to burden you with my problems. That's not what I'm saying. There's only one good thing about thinking you're going to die. It shows you what really matters. Lisa's there. She stood by you. She don't pity you. She loves you. And you've got your kids. Aye. You're right. I've been through worse. Well, it's spring over there now, isn't it? Oh, yeah, the weather will be beautiful, Cathy. You'll have a great time. Yeah, and I've got a day in Singapore between flights, so I can pick up a few souvenirs for Alice. Oh, Cathy, you've got to see this. <gasps> oh, just scan! Oh, look at those little fingers. <laughs> they certainly improved the quality of these things. I remember seeing a scan of our Ollie. It was like a thunderstorm. Couldn't make out any features or anything. What's this? Oh, it's Benice's baby. Oh, do you mind? No, of course not. It's a new life. It's lovely, Benice. Tell again, please. Hello, Sean. Hi. Tara, where have you been? I've got surgery this afternoon. Oh, no, I'm horribly late. It isn't my fault. Oh, really? No, I had to wait for Andrew to turn up. It seems Cathy was distracting him from his work. Tell the whole pub my business, why don't you? Tara, we really do have to look at these figures. Oh, all right, let's get it over with. Sorry about that, Cathy. No, oh, it's not your fault, Sorry. That woman is outrageous. Oh. Tara just likes winding people up. Mm. Sounds more like jealousy to me. I never realised Chris cared so much about the holiday village. Obviously, he can't bear to be without it. What do you mean? Oh, well, didn't you know? Oh, it's common gossip. It came up on the market again and he's bought it with Rodney. Didn't approach me this time. What is he playing at? Hmm? I haven't the faintest. But it isn't something I'd risk money in at the moment. Oh, uh, Cathy. I'm oh, glad I caught you. Oh, I wouldn't have gone without seeing you, Alan. I I've got a little present for Alice. Oh, that's really kind of you. Thank you. You will give her our love, won't you? Yes, of course I will. Right, I've got to go. Thanks for the drink, Sean. Last minute packing. Oh, yes. You look after that baby while I'm away. I'll try. All right. See you all later. Bye, bye Kathy. Yeah, bye. Send us a postcard. Bye. Great time. Bye. Could be you, Pat. No, I'm going to take a leaf out of your book, Les. I'm going to have a good heart to heart with our Lisa. Sometimes I, I don't appreciate her enough. Oh, uh, well, you've got time on your side, Zach. You're tired, love. Don't fuss, I'm fine. Well, uh, I'd better be off. Already? Aye, I've got to pick our bell up. Hey, I'll see him out. <sighs> Bye, Zach. Aye. Right. Next time you come, bring some ale, but don't tell the missus. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're up to. Right, go on with you. Don't think you've got much to worry about there, Jenny. He's full of bean. He won't rest, that's his trouble. <clears throat> Wish he wouldn't try so hard. 
There's no telling him. Uh, and uh, you're OK, the two of you? Yeah, we're fine. Hey, look, I'm just having a moan. You get off to that little girl of yours. Go on. Once I agree with Diana, all it is a great idea. Look. Thanks. So you really think I should go? Well, what's stopping you? Oh, I don't know. I might be needed here. Well, with Louise working full time in the pub, it'll be fine. There's so much to sort out, though. Ashley and Nicola. They'll all still be here when you get back. Oh, it'd be lovely to be in Sorrento. And while you're away, I'll see what I can do with Nicola. She's hurt, but she won't bear a grudge forever. You'll feel a lot better after a good rest, really. Right, I'm off. You've only been home ten minutes. You're working too hard, Lisa. What choice have I got? Well, can't you just stop and have a brew? No, I can't. Pollard wants that flat finished. OK. Oh, I told Belle you'd finish her story off for her. All right, well... Lisa. Let her go. Hey, eh? you got other strings to your ball. You what? There's no point denying it. I saw you. Saw me? Where? With that other woman. You followed me? What, what did you do that for? Well, you were in there long enough, but she still didn't want you to go. Oh, well, I'm... Quite an attractive woman. Well, what if she is? I don't know why I didn't do it years ago. It's got nothing to do with you. You're right. I don't need to know. I understand, honest. All right, then. You'll just have to trust me not to say anything. Will you check your filthy mind and get out of here? You know nothing at all! All right. I'm going. Can I come in? Yeah. Letitia's not here. She's just taken Kirk out in his pram to try and get him off to sleep. Did you have a word with her? She won't listen. She can't do this. I've warned her, Jason, but if I push her any more, she won't speak to me again. All I can do now is make sure she knows I'm here if anything goes wrong. Which you will. How do you think I feel, eh? You've known her for all the five minutes. Look, I'm sorry, Jason, love, but you're being really naive. Letitia's a grown woman. She's got to make her own mistakes. And what about Kirk? I can't just stand by and let it happen. Trust me, you'll do more harm than good. Just back off. Will you just tell her at the pub then when she gets back? All right. Have you budged from there today? No. Nope. I have done a day's work while you've been lying there. Leave me alone, Sean. You can't carry on like this. Why don't you go and talk to Bernice? I've tried. Look, OK, the relationship's <coughs> over, but... But if that's your kid she's carrying... It is my kid. Well, then she can't turn her back on you. You've got to work things out between you. Doesn't feel real somehow. Well, it would have done if you'd seen the photo of her scan. The baby looked real enough on that. When did you see that? In the pub at lunchtime. She was showing it round. To everyone? More or less. Yeah, everyone but me. That is so crass. I can't believe she'd do that. You see the way she treats me? So stand up for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I can't understand what Chris thinks he's doing. My father put his heart and soul into that holiday village. If he thinks he's buying it out of some sort of nostalgic gesture, then I think he's mad. But will he listen? And it's so frustrating because I know him better than anybody. Ashley, what's wrong? I'm sorry, Zoe. I, I didn't get much sleep last night. What? What happened? Nothing. No, that's not true. Bernice came round yesterday. Oh. 
And what did she want? I didn't really give a chance to say. Oh, Ashley. God forgive me, I am so angry with them. Yes, of course you are. If this is a test, Zoe, I'm failing it. I, I don't understand what you mean. I know I've got to forgive Bernice and Carlos. Well, it's not easy. I've prayed for help, but I simply don't feel the slightest flicker of compassion for either of them. It won't last, Ashley. What sort of a Christian am I? Oh, you must stop punishing yourself. You're exhausted. Have you eaten? I, I don't think there's any food in the house. Right. I'm going to take you out for something to eat. Not to the wool pack. Ashley, what do you take me for? Shame, Marlon. Come on. Mm. So refreshing having a drink together after a hard day's slog. I didn't notice you doing much actual work, Tara. Oh, uh, well, watching you is quite exhausting enough. Cheers. <laughs> I suppose it's none of my business, really. That's not true. You keep telling me how close you and Letitia are. I won't see him. I won't see Kirk, and I'll be thinking about him with him, that man. I'm worrying about what they're getting up to. Oh, I can't stand it. I've never felt this about anybody. Sounds as if you're jealous of him. Oh, maybe I am, in a way. I don't know. They need me, Tricia. I always thought I'd run away from that sort of responsibility, but I don't know what it'd be like without him. Have you told her this? Oh, yeah, what am I supposed to say? Don't go because I'll miss the babysitting. It doesn't come close. You said you wanted to discuss the stud? Hmm, a little fib. I thought I'd do you a favour and save you from a dull evening all alone. Don't want you getting bored now kathy has gone. It's only for a few weeks. Oof, sounds like an age to me. I'm sure I can find a few free slots in my timetable for a needy cause. Don't you worry about me, Tara. I'm not looking for consolation. <laughs> well, perhaps as well. Sympathy never was my thing. I still think you should tell Letitia you wanted to stay. No, she's made a choice. You know, Cynthia's right. I've just got to let her go. Oh, I'm sorry, Jason. Hey, you took a long time. There was so much to do. Dad, it could be fantastic. Especially the bar. I made some sketches. I think we could easily rival the wool pack. <laughs> What's the funny? Melt. So was uh, everything then? Yeah, everything. But Nicola wanted to measure up for the refurbishment. It's in reasonable nick now, though, isn't it? Well, yeah. But we could make so much more of it, Dad. If you'd just give me the chance. Yeah, good. Fantastic. OK. <laughs> hey. So is Rodney happy now he's got his deal? Yeah, it was important to him. It's not my game tourism. Well, I think it says a lot about the people who work and live here. Yeah, it's not the risk. It's the whole business about, about pleasing the punters, you know, always having to have a smile on your face. It just doesn't seem genuine. Well, that could apply to my job too. Aren't I genuine? Mum, I've made up my mind. You're gonna go? It's all arranged. Oh, that's great. When are you leaving? Tonight. Well, about half an hour, actually. Right. I'll just see Trisha. I'll be right with you. Oh, no, Mum. Can we say goodbye now? I don't want any fuss. All right, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing smells. <laughs> <laughs> Been to see me, ma'am? Yeah. You two still ganging up on me, then? <laughs> We're leaving tomorrow. Me and Kirk. Right. Aren't you going to say anything? Uh, yeah. Well, come on, then. I'm off home for an early night. I don't believe this. I only came here because you said you wanted to talk to me. Yeah, sorry about that. Hey, yeah. Uh, good luck, Letitia. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. Um, you got my number if you need it. <laughs> See you. Jason! Carlos, what are you doing? I'm writing to Bernice. <sighs> what? Nothing. You think I'm bottling out, don't you? That's not for me to say. Sean! Look, why on earth don't you just go and talk to her? She's only over the road. She's hardly going to throw you out of the pub. All right, then. I will. Good. Best get changed first, though, eh? What are you like? 
Here you go, darling. Did you see Jason? Yeah, but all he said was good luck. Well, you can't blame your friends, can you? I mean, you go on about Paul, how terrible he is, and then next minute it's complete about face. Sun shines out of him and you're going to live happily ever after. What do you expect? I hadn't thought of it like that. No. Well, come and eat. I suppose you're all still worried about me. Yeah, we are. We'll work, you know. We'll be OK. Just promise me one thing. If it goes wrong, don't stand on your pride. We won't say we told you so. Speak for yourself. You won't either. We might not agree we are. But she's trying to do her best. You're going to make me cry. Come here. You and Kurt can always come back to me. All right? Now I'm going to do the right thing. When I see Bernice again, no matter how I feel, I'm going to listen. I'm not going to condemn. Whatever happened to righteous anger? Anger can also be a deadly sin. going on? Ashley, stay out of it. Where are you going? Leave me alone, Carlos. Are you coming back? Bernice! Let go of me! Well, when will I see you? What about the baby? Bernice, we've got to talk! Not now, Carlos. I can't do without you. I love you. I'll do anything. Tell me what to do. Let me go. Let her go! Get off me, Ashley. Now you know what it feels like! Now you understand! This is the only possible ending, Carlos! Pain and more pain! 